you're looking at. Dan Bellino over at first. Tom Hanahan and Phil Cuzzy hey. at second and third. Hey, I'm Phil Cuzzy. Phil Cuzzy. Hey, fans, why are you even complaining? Hey, you suck. One and ten, the Nationals. I guess that's one way to entertain yourself when you're playing Baltimore. Bring up the Baltimore DH, Ryan O'Hearn. Williams gets a call for strike one. Why, yes, this is the very first pitch of the game to O'Hearn. Located pretty much as close as you can get. Point one, well within margin of error. You go to 3D, it's actually overlapping. We're noticing so far here, by the way, for home plate umpire Alex Tosi, those inside pitches are getting the call versus the outside. That's an important observation because with two strikes. Huge jump. Called strike three on the outside edge. O'Hearn going back to the dugout, not a fan, neither is the broadcast. Yeah, O'Hearn thought this ball was on the outside part, but it's a fastball. You see where Ruiz sets up on the outside part, and that ball is just about a ball off the outside part of the plate. This time, computer says strike right on that outer edge. This call is correct by that standard, but let's compare real quick. Strike one, inner edge. Strike three, outer edge. Hitters can get frustrated by that, which is kind of the goal of pitching. Meanwhile, on Washington's show... Does he play up the accent, or is it natural? No, it's natural. Okay. It'll be their last call against Kyle Finnegan. Yeah. Into the ninth we go, O'Hearn is hitless. O'Hearn still looking for his first hit this evening. Well, just misses to Ryan O'Hearn. Well, this is not in the margin of error. Yes, this call benefits the batter, but it gets to that relativity issue we talked about. Oh no. Strike two. Sounds like my kind of math. And then with two strikes, the relativity issue comes home to roost. Gets the corner, 98. Ryan O'Hearn, a real big issue with the zone tonight. Yeah, he's been called out and twice. He's out. It's on pitches that were not strikes. Happened his very first at bat against Williams. Struck out looking on the same pitch on the inside part, but it was not a strike and then it happened. You and I have very different definitions of inside. Actually, strike three in the first was one of the only computer cracks of the entire sequence. But yes, yeah, strike three in the ninth was an MOE ball, which when you compare and contrast to what was actually called ball one, look at strike three and now look at ball one, you can understand where that relativity frustration comes from. It used to be called consistency. Yeah, right there, boom. 185 is the season's ejection pace after O'Hearn's ejection. And Brandon Hyde's gonna get tossed. You kind of felt this coming. It's been a tough zone. I don't uh, think he used yeah, any. Yeah, yeah, I counted three. And 189 is our ejection pace after Hyde's. Started with an F, right? <laughs> yep. Patience by Alex Tosi on this one. Letting Brandon Hyde have his moment. Abrams comes to get it. 